just fortunate to be able to have, you know, the opportunity to most likely come back here and play two games. But yeah, emotional day, but we're really proud to be Ducks and mm -hmm. we're proud that we had the support today and it's just a really amazing experience, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was so much fun. I mean, today was a lot of fun. Everyone contributed to the game. We won and it was just so cool to see everyone's families out here and so much love and um, yeah, it was just really cool, but now, we got to get in of Pac-12, and now we got to have our it's eyes on the business. Yeah. yeah. Back to you, Kelly was just mentioning how last year you guys were kind of limping into the postseason mm -hmm. with the lack of depth and some injuries. Mm -hmm. Does it feel completely different this year with the depth and with the three game winning streak? Yeah, it does. I mean, you can win this whole thing with just five players. So we know that we rely on our bench players so much, and they really give us everything, and they contribute every game. So we are not beat up. We can go and practice um, with full energy and full power. We couldn't do that last year. So, yeah, we're really fortunate this year. Everyone is healthy, and we're just um, really going full, <laughs> full ahead of steam into postseason, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, as soon as I was on the bench, I was fine, yeah. Mignon, what's it like for you? You know, the regular season's wrapped up now to know that there's still so much basketball to play yet with this team. It's weird. <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually right now I'll be kissing my family and saying thank you for the season. You know, I would have promised, what, one or two games, three maybe in Pac-12 tournament if we upset. And now it's like we have – nothing's guaranteed, but, you know, we obviously have more to, to come in. It's really amazing. Usually I'm beat up and like coach has been preserving our bodies throughout the whole year because we have a bench. We have a deeper bench mm -hmm. this year. And that's going to take us further in the tournament. So just a blessing to be in this position. It's really weird. Like I said, I've never been to the NCAA tournament. So to be up to the top of the NCAA tournament my first time is really crazy. But it's just, it's amazing. Yeah. You kind of reflected on this a little bit out of the mm -hmm. And you brought in the Houston Spice World too. But when you celebrated this win, you had 12,000 people here mm -hmm. watching and like, cheering you on. Yeah. It was kind of weird because last year my sister graduated from USC, so I actually walked out on senior night, on her senior night, so I kind of took that as my senior night too. So I got kind of two senior nights, but the fans, they're, they're, they stay to the end, you know. Most teams, I mean, most fans would leave when there's, we're up by 30, but they stayed and they, and they supported us like they've been doing all season long and like mm -hmm. um, they've been doing all these years that Satu's been here and Sabrina and Ruthie. So it's really crazy. It's amazing to be able to, you know, look around and just give thanks to them and say there's more to come and we still have a couple more games at home and in Portland, so we need their support. What's this week just kind of been like for you knowing that there's still so much ball to be played mm -hmm. but you have to kind of think about this senior day and this mm -hmm. speech and all of these other things that are kind of coming along that you have to do that. Yeah, I didn't really think about those, honestly. Like, our senior speech at the banquet, I didn't really have anything. I just kind of spoke from my heart. And then today, I didn't really speak, uh, think about it before I went out there. And just having my family surrounding me, but it's it's business. And this is the time of the year that you need to really bring it. And so that's what the most important thing is. Yeah, I want to embrace the moment and be able to be in the moment because it won't ever come back. But, I mean, we have a lot of business to take care of. So that's where really my, my, where my mind's at. It motivates us a lot. I mean, I feel like everyone, uh, all the returners definitely have that in their he heads. And, I mean, Jan knows how to play against Stanford, so they will come back strong. But there are also other teams we have to focus on, and we'll just wait on the schedule and see who we'll play against and compete against. And, yeah, we can just really go with 100%. And I'm really confident in our team, and I'm really go going confident, uh, like, to Vegas.